DNA is a double helix shaped like a twisted ladder, consisting of two strands running in opposite directions, making DNA anti-parallel. One strand runs in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, and the other strand runs in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction. Replication begins at the origin of replication. At the origin of replication, two strands of DNA form a replication bubble. At the end of the replication bubble is a replication fork. This is a Y-shaped region where the new strands of DNA are elongating. An enzyme called helicase does all the unwinding and untwist the double, the double helix at the replication fork. Helicase separates the two parental strands of DNA so that these strands can be used as templates. It does this by attaching at the replication fork and moving to break the hydrogen bonds at the fork as it moves along the DNA. Single-stranded binding proteins act like scaffolding. They hold the two DNA strands apart to ensure they do not bind again. They bind to the DNA to protect it and to prevent double-stranded DNA hairpins. Gyrase lessens the tension on the tightly wound helix by breaking, swiveling, and rejoining the DNA strands. It relieves supercoiling ahead of the replication fork. DNA polymerase 3, which is responsible for most DNA synthesis, elongates the strands by adding nucleotides to each strand. The nucleotides are connected through phosphodiester bonds. They are added at the 3' prime end. It moves along the template strand and pushes the replication fork ahead of it. It adds the nucleotides to the 3' prime end of the pre-existing chain in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The pre-existing chain that is being added to is called the RNA primase here in purple. Excuse me, the RNA primer. The RNA primer is made from the enzyme RNA primase. RNA primase makes the primer by joining together RNA nucleotides. DNA polymerase 1 removes all RNA primers by using 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease activity. It fills the gap during elongation. Both DNA polymerase 1 and 3 proofread with 3' prime to 5' prime exonuclease activity. Through this process, two different strands are used for DNA replication. The leading strand is the strand that is formed towards the DNA replication fork. The lagging strand is the opposite. It forms away from the DNA replication fork. The lagging strand forms a loop so both strands can replicate simultaneously. The lagging strand is formed as a series of segments of nucleotides. These segments are called the Okazaki fragments. They are 1,000 to 2,000 nucleotides long. The DNA ligase will come and form the Okazaki fragments into one long continuous strand to finish DNA replication.